Tobacco Channel, Golden Boy MD here. So glad you could join me again. Uh, check out another video, more information, uh, just going through the things that I like. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I love those continued likes and, uh, and subscribe and uh, thanks for being with me on this journey. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about tuners. Um, so again, like I said before, uh, tuners are really important. Um, you can't keep your guitar in tune without one, unless you have a really good ear or you've been doing it for a while, um, and then I guess you can do that. But for me, I need a tuner. Um, and so when you're just starting out, uh, you don't really know what tuner to buy. You can ask somebody at a guitar store, or you could do some research online. Um, but I just, uh, when I bought my first guitar uh, at the music store, I just said, hey, I need a tuner. Um, what can you recommend? And he gave me a tuner. It was cheap, like $19.99. Um, and I thought it was great. And, and, you know, but I noticed sometimes when I tuned my guitar, even though the tuner said I was in tune, it didn't sound like it was in tune. Um, so I, you know, I just started doing some research on them and I found that there's lots of different tuners out there. I even have some in, built into my amp. My Positive Grid has a tuner built into it and my Fender LT25 has a, a tuner built into it, but I don't find those to be that accurate. I mean, they're okay in a pinch, um, but I uh, just sort of wanted to share with you what I found. So this um, was a tuner that I purchased um, uh, at a guitar store. It's a uh, little battery operated one. Um, it just doesn't recharge or anything like that. It just has um, just, just a little power switch and uh, a battery in the back here, sort of like what you have for your watch. Um, you can just put the battery in there and I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, I had this probably a month now, maybe a little more. Um, but I want to show you what it does on the guitar um, so that you'll have an idea of what that looks like. So we'll just pop this right on the top here and we'll turn her on. And uh, there you go. So I'm gonna, hopefully not a lot of feedback there, pluck the string. And you can see that that's the E string. Green means it's in tune. Yeah, see that's what I don't like about these. See all that, I'm plucking that A string, but it's not, there we go. Back to the E. It keeps fluctuating back and forth. Now see, it's not even picking up that. That's the B string. No, that would be not E. <laughs> so this one's, you know, it's truly not that accurate. Um, it, it's okay again in a pinch. Uh, but it's truly not that accurate as far as, and, and that can mess you up when you're trying to tune something. Um, so that was the little $10, $9.99 cheapy little one. This is the uh, $19.99 one that I got. Um, this is a Fender. Um, this one is rechargeable, so it does have a recharging port here, uh, so you can recharge it and you know, use it over and over and over again. Um, and so it has, uh, this can do a couple different things. It has some, um, let me turn it over the right way here, turn it on. It has some different tuning things in the back here that you can tune and you can tune in different, in different uh, see it's already picking up and I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> All right, so let's look at this. D, D. All right, so this one's more accurate. Um, it's a little more difficult to do than I thought. So uh, yeah, it's uh, a little more accurate and it's sharp.
Right. And again, you get some uh, some buttons on the back here, a power button and a mode button. Power button and a mode button. And overall, I think that that's the one I've used a lot. Um, you know, to, to tune my guitar. And then um, I was talking to somebody and they told me that they like this particular one the best, which is called a Snark. And I had never heard of Snark before. Um, so I purchased it and uh, it too is rechargeable. It has a rechargeable thing on the back, has a couple of mode switches back there for different tunings. Um, it actually has three switches back there. Uh, and I don't know what all those do. I'm sure I'll figure it out someday, but this is this is probably by far the most accurate one that I've had so far. Um, it is just really good, really accurate. So, and when I'm trying to intonate a guitar or I'm trying to just get it in tune after I put new strings on it, this is my go-to tuner. Um, I just think it's really accurate, it's really good, it's lightweight, it's uh, sort of no frills, uh, for me anyways. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you is, years ago when I was learning guitar when I was a kid, I didn't have money for a tuner, I don't even know if they bought tuners or had tuners back then. but. We, uh, we learned this, this trick where you put your finger on the fifth fret and then you tune the guitar. You can hear that. It's out of tune. then that would be in tune. Okay, so there you go. Just a quick little video about tuners. And uh, my personal favorite is this, this Snark. My personal favorite, I like this one a lot. Um, I'm sure you probably have your own favorite and, and that's wonderful and that's great. Uh, again, if you uh, know of anything or if you know uh, better tuners or you have information about tuners or tell, can tell me what the buttons do on the back, um, That'd be fantastic. You can go ahead and leave those comments down in, uh, in the comment section for me. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by today and, and checking out my video on tuners. And uh, thanks so much. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me you like it. Tell me you don't. It's all good. Thanks very much.